Okay, welcome to Growth and Grace, take two. First video just shut off right in the middle. So we're gonna try this again. We're gonna talk through creating a sustainable and thriving life. And I'm excited to share with you what I have done to do that in my own life in the hopes that there's gonna be something that you can learn that you maybe haven't yet been implementing that you can start implementing so that you too can have a sustainable and thriving life. So the biggest, biggest, biggest key for me in doing this um, has been creating variety in my life. And let me tell you, I, for years, I was very stuck on being like super regimented, super routine. This is how it's going to look. And I stuck with it and I didn't take any opportunities that came outside of that. And I didn't take any, I didn't do anything socially that was outside of my plans. Like I was very, um, well, dull and bored and isolated to be super honest, but I felt like I was in control. So I allowed myself to like stay in that because it had me feel like, okay, I can control this because I didn't like my life. I didn't like any part of it. I was unhappy. Every, any area of life that you brought to me, I was like, oh yeah, I'm not happy there. That's miserable. This sucks. This isn't working. I don't like how this is going for every area of my life. And yet I wasn't changing anything because I liked the idea that I could control how every area of my life is going, right? So what, I mean, that's, it's just, it's, it wasn't healthy. It wasn't great. Um, and what the, the spin on that was, what actually made a difference for me was when not only did I let go of like having it to be so regimented and so controlled, but I actually let myself explore what would it look like if I did something different in this area of life, or if I changed something over here in this area of life. And I let myself kind of get into that mode of, gosh, I mean, I let myself get curious and I let myself think, what, what could it look like? Maybe I would like my life better if this changed or if this wasn't the way that it is right now. And then I started doing things differently, which is, that was huge for me at the time. Um, but what I want to talk with you guys about this morning is you guys have seen my vision boards. You've seen my goals board, which I'm going to move my camera and see if I can show you my goals board right here. Well, you can see that it's there. You can't really read it. But that's right. There's pictures of it. If you go to my, my personal page, so you'll be able to see it. But, um, Basically what it is and what has helped me create this thriving, sustainable life has been looking at a bunch of different life categories and then coming up with different things to support a thriving, sustainable thing in that category, which overall then adds to a thriving, sustainable life. So different life categories, you can Google these if you want, but there's anything from relationships, business, finances, adventure. Um, what are some of my other ones? Um, physical goals, um, professional goals, intellectual, material, philanthropy. Like there's so many different categories. And what I did for my goals board is I created, I wrote out, I think there's 13 categories on there now. I wrote out all these different categories and then I picked a goal that I wanted to accomplish throughout the year within that category. And it doesn't have to be some absurd goal. Remember, depending on how many categories you pick, you get to work yourself up to completing that goal. So don't go overboard. Don't pick like climbing Mount Everest type goals for every category. Cause you know, you get to be realistic while you dream big. And some of your goals are gonna be multi-year goals. So it's gonna take you a little bit to get there. So what is this year's goal? So I did this at the beginning of the year. I created different goals for all these categories. And now what it has done is it's given me the opportunity to step into all of these different arenas of life and enrich all of these different areas of my life and be intentional and purposeful with creating thriving and sustainable activities and um, like um, habits for each of these areas of my life so that I am each day moving closer to each of these goals. And yes, some days I am definitely more focused on other goals than you know on these goals versus these goals. And some days I'm only focused on this goal and it's gonna fluctuate throughout. But what it's done for me is it's really allowed me to not be stuck only 
focusing on one area of life. And for me, that used to be um, business or it was when I was working in corporate, it was my job. Like it was working. It was only working. That's all I focused on. And it's, um, it's not sustainable to do that. So one of the, you know, one of the examples I'm thinking of is when you have a beautiful flower garden, if you only water one part of the garden, that's the only part of the garden that's going to grow. Like that's the only part that's really going to thrive. You might have some really tough, hardy plants over in this part that can still grow, but man, they're using a lot of energy and they're just really struggling to stay green. But if you're watering your entire garden and you're sprinkling some here and some here and some parts you might water in the morning, some you might water in the evening, you know, some you might only have the option to water right in the middle of the day in the hot sun, but you still get to water them. Some, you know, you might be the type who just waters evenly and you spend time evenly across the board and that's great. But what's cool, like I like that analogy because it's a visual one and I like to have variety in my garden. So I want to make sure that, you know, the, the daisies are being watered and the roses and the peonies and, you know, you got to make sure that the variety is getting what they need. So it's not going to look exactly the same for every type of flower. Some need more sun, some need more shade. It's true with the different areas of life. Some are going to take a little bit more energy, a little bit more time, but you get to figure it out as you go and you can ask for support along the way. So that, my dear friends, is how you create a thriving and sustainable life is by not just honing in and focusing on only one thing. It's by expanding. It's by choosing to come at it from a place of curiosity. And it's by letting people support you along the way. So that's that. We're going to wrap this one real early today. And I will look forward to seeing you next week, 6 a.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. Eastern, every Thursday for another episode of Growth and Grace. We'll see you then. Bye for now.